Hey everyone, I'm Joey. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a two balloon caterpillar. Look at this guy. That's the biggest I can grab him with my whole hand. caterpillar I've ever seen. It looks poisonous. Like, uh, like why else would it have darts on its back? <laughs> <laughs> I think it probably munch straight. <laughs> it would suck up and be that big and still have to move that slow. Some supplies you're going to need are your handy dandy balloon inflator, two 260 size balloon twisting balloons of the same color. If you're looking for these items, you can find the ones that I use in the description below. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps my channel and it's a super small free way that you can show your support. Grab your supplies and let's get started. I'm going to inflate my first balloon to about four finger length sail. The first thing I'm going to do is make a loop twist. I want this loop twist to be about the size of my palm if I lay it sideways. Hold onto the nozzle, put pressure over here, twist around your loop twist. And don't forget to stick the nozzle through the loop to lock it in place. Next, I'm going to make a one inch bubble. Then I'm going to make another loop twist the same exact size that I made this other one. Next, I'm going to create another one inch bubble and another loop twist the same size as these other two. I'm going to set this aside for now and inflate my other green balloon to the same length, about five finger lengths tail. I'm going to attach this nozzle to the joint on the back here on the opposite side of where the rest of this green balloon is coming out. So right here. And I'm gonna kinda go through the same process of alternating between one inch bubbles and loop twists. So I'll make a one inch bubble right here. Loop twist the same size. Another one inch bubble. And another loop twist. Now I'm going to stick the end of my balloon through all of these loop twists. I want to pull it through until I only have about three inches on the very end. Now continue sticking it through the rest of your loop twists. With my bottom balloon, I'm going to create two small loop twists that are going to be the front legs. And it looks like I'm running out of balloon here, so I'm going to do a quick break on the end and deflate the balloon so that I have the exact amount that I need for my last loop twist here on the bottom. And with the rest of my green balloon, I'm going to make a twist right where it's coming out of these other loop twists. Fold it down, this is going to be the head, and attach the end of this bubble to where the joint of the feet are. With any extra balloon you have here, you can stick it back into the body. You can add some Sharpie art for the eyes and maybe the little pinchers that it's got on its mouth. Here you have your basic balloon caterpillar shape. You can leave it like this, or if you want to add some antennas, you can grab a different color. Inflate it only about four inches and use the balloon bulb technique to separate two separate sections of air. So you can make something like this and then stick one side through the back of the head so that it comes up on the other side. And you can pull these two antennas up to get caught on this twist at the top of the head. And this, my friends, is a more advanced, complete balloon caterpillar. If this was helpful, don't forget to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps my channel, and it's a super small, free way that you can show your support. Don't forget to subscribe for more balloon twisting, balloon decorations, personal finance, business tips, pranks, stunts, challenges, and a bunch of other fun, entertaining content. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Joey. I'll see you next time.